guys. Today on Greg's Garage, a mail call. Thank you, HPR. I don't get much opportunity to watch HPR anymore. Uh, it's not because I don't like him. Uh, he's got a lot of content out there, and I got a lot of guys to watch. And I tune in every once in a while, but I don't tune in like I used to. I used to watch every single video, and uh, I like HPR a lot. This is really cool. I'm glad he sent that out. I think I sent him a Greg's, Greg's Garage sticker a while back. Uh, Dan Electro, he sent me a sticker. I'm not going to take it out of the package yet, but uh, he also sent me a little bottle opener. We'll have a little celebration at some point, and I'll use that. Thanks, Neil. That was from across the pond. That's uh, mail from far, far away. So uh, that was the mail call for today. Also today, we're going to do some emblem mounting. We're going to do some rubber fitting. <laughs> Well, this is exciting stuff, guys. We're going to fit the glove box uh, cover on. Uh, we're going to spray paint the glove box itself. And uh, the hoods are all mounted on the car, so we'll take a look at that. And I've got uh, a, uh, the kick pad, the knee pad for the dash. We're going to get into that, too, and hopefully uh, show you how that was all done. And uh, so stay tuned. I got a uh, slight reprieve from the in-laws. They went to the store real quick. Uh, and I've had my uh, engine deck lid seal sitting out here in the sun. It's a hundred and something today, so I figured this would make it nice and soft. It's got to make some 90 degree bends uh, the flat way, so I figured we'd heat it up and hopefully that'll make it go. Uh, the other thing I got bacon out here, hang on, in the shade, I've got my uh, <clears throat> glove box. I put some uh, resin on that some fiberglass resin because it's just a fiberboard box and it has the control in here for the front hood and I figured uh, I just put some resin on there and stiffen it up then we have our visors did the same thing with them just some uh, some fiberglass resin because again they're they're paperboard they're just sitting out in the heat curing that's it uh, so I got the center line of this marked with my pen and uh, I'm going to go clear some things out of the way and we're going to install this. I'm not going to open that. <laughs> I'm going to let it set like that till it cools off and hopefully uh, hopefully she'll stay that shape. Uh, for all the trouble I had, and I'm sorry there's not much light down here, for all the trouble I had with this thing, I was, I was happy with how the gaps are. This side's probably set just a little high, but you can see right here I've got a little, uh, yeah, mm -hmm, little stuff there, but I think I think I can work on that. I think I can make that settle down just a little bit. But uh, anyway, that uh, that rubber was heated up. Whew, that was hot. I had it around my neck, and it was it was hot. <laughs> I'll bet it's 120 out on the driveway. It was. Uh, I don't remember the air temperature, 102, 103, something like that. But that concrete was so hot. I walked out there in bare feet and. I'm pretty sure I got some blisters on the bottom of my feet just from that. I mean, like a minute maybe out in there, out there on my bare feet. So this is action packed right here, folks. We got uh, we got the dash, the under dash. Sorry, the knee pads. Ah, oh, man, come on, Don't do this to me. We got the knee pads. Uh, got the sauce on them there, and uh, we're gonna make those happen. So I'm just leaving the vinyl out here to get hot. Shouldn't probably have to use a heat gun today. It's it's uh, going to be pretty pliable when we pull her in here in about 10 minutes. I should have uh, shot this all in. Sorry about that, guys. Should have shot this in real time uh, while that's cooking. See, I got I got no time today. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're we're literally uh, 10, 15 minutes at a pop, and uh, while that's cooking outside. Uh, so we got our rubber on. We're going to do this next, which is the uh, license plate bracket. And uh, I'm going to see if I can set you guys up on this box here. Uh, can you guys see anything? Maybe? I'll try and work high here. So these are all the pieces and parts here. I hope that I need. 
I have no idea sometimes what's wrapped up in here. I try and label them, sort of like your butcher would label things. Uh, this says uh, light bar, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's my light bar. Uh, there it is. Uh, it needs a little sandy sand right there, but I think uh, maybe we can put this on without the sandy sand and uh, just get the lights in and come back later and put all the trim bits in there. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to see. But I uh, figured we could start the assembly here. And I have no idea what's in this little package. Ooh, light lenses and uh, looks like my rubbers. So yeah, those are two good rubbers and two clean lenses that I must have taken care of a while back. And then I have uh, in this little baggie here, uh, it says license plate lights. So this is the electricals. Oh yeah. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to pop these together. I'm not going to make you guys watch that, but we'll pop this all together and uh, hopefully have a working unit here uh, fairly shortly. There she is. I left a little skin on her somewhere. Oh yeah, right there. That's some that's some skin. I'll have to buff that out or something. I don't know. Got the little dude too. So, yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I took my fiber coated. Oh, there's enough humidity, it's making my camera fog up. I painted the inside bone white, outside black. Uh, this is my fiberboard box for the glove compartment that I covered in fiberglass resin. There we go. Yep. Just wanted it to look a little dressier in the engine com or in the luggage compartment and then from the interior, you know. I don't know. It's just supposed to look kind of nice. There we go. Woo, sick cam. Yep. That's right. Wet sanding and buffing the glove box door. Now you wonder why this car has taken me so damn long. Yep. That's why.
starting to come together. I think I spent an entire evening working on this. Wow, first time I've ever had one <laughs> that works. Yeah, buddy, starting to come together. One more little look-see back here. Uh huh. What kind of car is this? Yeah, it's that kind right there. Ah, uh, yeah. Mhm. Mm starting to look like a car, guys. I worked my ass off an hour at a time. Uh huh. It's gonna kill me, but this son of a bitch is gonna come together and it's not gonna be long. Mm hmm. Yep. 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 Nope. Have not finished the wiring. Nope, nope, nope. There's a reason. Before I can finish this, I had to put in that. Because there's wiring here that has to check out with things over there. Well, to put in that, you got to do the glove box, to do the hood, to do the this, to do the that. Everything has to go in order. And I'm slowly figuring out what order that is. At least I'm hoping. I've had to undo a ton of stuff that I've already done because I put it in, I look around and there's nowhere to get the other pieces and parts together so you know what do you do? Uh, you undo it all and as tiring as that is sorry I'm trying to stick this key in here before I lose it as tiring as that is and as exhausting as that is you just do it because that's the way it's done and again, this has been nitpicking this thing apart one hour at a time. I have an announcement to make about the power windows. The power windows are not going in right now. Uh, we're going to skip that step. We're going to hit the pause button on it. Uh, there are way too many questions i got to answer. Uh, one is the kind of switches. I need to have ones that won't have the motor blow up. Uh, the other thing is i got to figure out how to get a harness into the door without crushing the harness every time the door closes because these are, cars are not meant to have that. So i got to do something different. i got to think of it. And I don't have time for that kind of detail right now because I don't want it to look like something that Average Joe put in. I want it to look factory. So, you know, that's what it's worth. And I can't close the damn hood because I need my box over there in here with the cable to operate that because if I don't have that I can't get that open then you gotta pop the hood out or the horn out to get the hood latch open so anyway I think I've got all the pieces and parts for that so I'll put that glove box in tomorrow after it dries maybe oh we're getting damn close guys we're getting close don't let your meat love. Don't do it.